Um, I've never really, people have never seen. I always wear a brave front. Most women in like, you know, tough jobs have to always have like a little bit more of a stronger front um, to be taken seriously. I built that very early um, at 18 to be thrown into the limelight of this job. I mean, you know it, you've been in it for a long time. You know, it's, it's a crazy profession, the expectations, the pressure, um, you know, to deliver under that scrutiny, um, to be artistic, to yet have a point of view, to be unique, not, you know, have your own trajectory because that's the only way it'll work. Um, you know, nobody wants me twos in the entertainment business. You want new kind of, you know, you, you have to always have a sense of evolution. So it was really, really scary in, in the beginning. And um, I think everything just changes with time. And this was one of the good changes that came out of it for me. Yeah. No, absolutely. And, and I'm hoping that, I wonder, do you think that's changing now if someone's coming into the in entertainment industry today at 18 or do you think it hasn't changed? Where's your perception on that when you're guiding young artists or seeing people that you follow on social media or, you know, whatever it may be, are you, are you feeling it's changing? Has it improved or, or no? The pressure, you mean? Uh, not the pressure, more the like you were saying, like you, when you came into the industry, you had to put on a brave front. You had to wear that face. It was the only way to survive. Do you feel it's the same now for young talent as well? Um, I, th I think, well, I was talking about definitely as a female in, in yes, the yes, as a female. business. Oh, as a female. Okay. Yes. Um, I think so. I think, um, you know, um, it, it's still hard when you're starting out for women to be taken seriously, for your ideas to be given the kind of credence that um a man's would as quickly probably you know mm. um especially in professions where you do, you know normally you don't see women because you know women have never been pushed in that direction or women mm. have never wanted to go in that direction because it was never normalized for them that their ambitions could go in that direction business politics um you know to be heads of companies um engineering like you know coding um, policy making, like stuff like that, lawyers, women have just about in the last few generations been coming to the fore and, you know, are standing neck to neck with guys, but it's still a, an anomaly. It's still not mm -hmm. as normal in terms of numbers. It's still not equal. So until that happens, I think it will be hard for, um, you know, young girls to be taken, taken seriously when they come into professions that are predominantly male. Um, yeah. But it's okay. Um, you know, women before us have fought the fight and women after us will fight the fight. It'll just hopefully not be the same fight. Hopefully mm. our generation will not let our kids inherit our problems, you know, um, mm. as women. Um, we are definitely working in that direction, but I think as the world needs to sit up and take notice that this demand is loud because it's a requirement. This demand is loud because that's what's right. And that is the reflection of the world. Women are 50% of it and we should be reflected in um, you know, every area. And basically feminism is that, right? Like don't decide for me what I should be doing, when I should be doing it and how I should be doing it. Just like yeah, men yeah. have had that freedom, give me that as well yeah so i guess it's that <laughs> sorry we deviate completely no 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 you're not deviating at all